All right, so once you go through that previous screen that you just saw, it's gonna kick you back out to this screen here. And what you're looking for is this here where it says Create Certification Application. You're gonna click on it, all right? Then from here, you're gonna make, you're gonna verify your information over here to be sure that it's correct, okay? Then you're gonna click Verify, then click Next, okay? Then you're gonna be brought to this screen. You can select, I will print my own card. You'd like to say I would like a printed card mailed, whichever you want. But I usually keep it at print my own so I can print it, laminate it, keep it in my wallet, whichever. Plus you get it immediately and you don't have to wait on a mailed card to come to your home. Click next. Here you're gonna select whether you're EMR, EMT, advanced, paramedic, whichever you're certifying for. All right, and then click verify, click next. Here, this is to be sure that you're not criminally convicted of anything. Hopefully the answer is none of the above apply. If it is, it's, well, none of my business. Just be sure you click the correct one and then click next. All right, you should see this statement here. If you did answer none, if you didn't, well, you figure that out. All right, so then you're gonna click agree and submit. All right, and that is because you're currently enrolled or have you completed an initial EMT course? It should be yes. Click next. All right, this date here for this particular class is going to be December 5th, 2017, but depending on what semester you're in, this is going to be the date that you actually complete the course where you, the day you take your final exam, okay? Um, just be sure that you pass the class after your final before you just take off and put that date in here. All right, once you enter the date, you're gonna click next. Looking for your EMS education program, pick the state that you're in, okay, and click next. Now you're gonna to get to this section here. Where is your program located? For us here at this school, you're gonna see two options. You're gonna see Greenville Tech College Con Ed. You're gonna see Greenville Tech College AD. Do not select the Con Ed section or you will be put over in the Buck Mickles department and we cannot get to you. So be sure, be sure you select Greenville Technical College AD. Should look like that. All right, then you're gonna click next. Once you do that, make sure you have your CPR card available as well. And for this, our course ID, um, they've quit doing this a few years back so you're always gonna select none should look like this under program selection. Okay, then click next. Enter the date that your CPR card expires. Like I said, for this particular class, it's 2019 in September. Just make sure you put whatever date is on your current CPR card, your most current. Click next. All right, it's gonna say review your application before that everything is done correctly. Once you do that, verify. Then it's going to say at a cessation here, make sure that you attest that everything that you input into this application is correct. Once you do, click that, click submit. Okay, then it's going to bring you back to this screen here. All right, then just to make sure you've done it correctly, you're going to go here and you're going to set application submitted. At the end to check your status, you're going to say click here. And your screen should look like this. You should have an application confirmation ID, the date you created your application, the fact that it is submitted. Now once you complete the course, this course completion verification, the program director has to put this date in. If you don't create a profile, we cannot put this date in for you, which means you can't do the following two. So please be sure that you get this done and it should look like this. Program director will put this date in when you take your practical skills for registry. We will then put that date in. Once these two dates are put in, then that will open up your application payment option for you to be able to pay to take your written registry exam. If you have any questions, please talk to your primary instructor or program director about getting you signed up. Good luck.